On this episode of Air Capital Hot Rod Garage, we're bagging our truck. So if you're a subscriber of our channel, or you watched our last video, you saw that we installed a gooseneck hitch in our Ram 2500. Now we're going to put some airbags on it. That way when we load down a heavy trailer, uh, we can bring the, take the squat back out of the back of it. So what I got today is airlift brand, load lifter 5000, uh, adjustable air spring. So <clears throat> these are the 5000 pound models. Um, they make a 7,500 pound model. I didn't think I needed that. This is a three quarter ton truck, not a one ton truck. So uh, this should be sufficient. Um, <clears throat> I'm getting a fifth wheel trailer here uh, next week. So that's what I'm preparing for. Uh, the pin weight that sits on the truck is uh, close to the capacity of the truck. So these should just restore the height back to it. Um, so the kind of warning with this is um, these don't increase the payload capacity of your truck, just help level it out. That's the uh, warning there. So, uh, so we're gonna get to it. it. The kit has the airbag, of course, um, a couple of brackets here, and airlines. So basically what this does is sits on the axle and below the frame and use that space to it. So right next to your leaf springs, this one doesn't sit on the leaf springs. So um, just a couple brackets you install on the axle, on the frame, and it should be a pretty simple install. So our first step is to lift the truck up, put jack stands under the frame, and then lower it down to drop that axle a little bit. All right, so the next step, is to remove this bump, bumper, bump stop. Uh, I guess on the two wheel drives, it doesn't have this upper bracket. So I think this is just bolted directly to the frame. But since mine's four wheel drive, it's a little bit lower. next step is to install this bracket. Uh, there's two brackets in the kit that look very similar. There's part number stamped on them, so study the diagram. Uh, make sure you're installing the right one. And then this notch goes towards the inside of the frame. It installs with two uh, Allen head bolts. So then you torque those to 37 foot pounds. All right, now we're going to assemble the airbag setup. So the first step is take one of these, put it over like that. And you take your air fitting here, screw it into the hole. You want to go finger tight, and then it said one and a half turns. So one. And a half. And one thing I kind of thought was neat about these is they don't have Teflon tape on them. They have a little O-ring on them. So. Bracket. Line up all the holes. And then bolt it down. Then you torque these down to 20, I believe it's 20 foot pounds. Yep. Alright. That half's done. And then flip it over, put your plate on. Okay, and you want these plates so that the kind of rounded soft sides are towards the airbag, because that way it doesn't damage itself. Need a couple clear bolts. Let's see here. Make sure I put this on right. 
should drop drop your carriage bolts through the bracket and then my air fitting is on towards me so these um, big brackets to the, this bracket over here points that way so then Bolts, lock washer, and washer. Thread it in there. And these holes in here on this bracket are slotted. I don't know if you can see that. So you don't want to tighten these down all the way because I'm sure when you go to put it in the truck you're gonna have to need to wiggle this around a little bit so uh, just get them in there all right and through the magic of TV both of them are done all right guys we're on the driver's side now uh, got my upper bracket installed I didn't show that it's the same as the other side um, so there's some specific instructions on where everything's supposed to go um, as far as the carriage bolts on this lower bracket here uh, and these brake lines which brake lines back here uh, so that your uh, carriage bolts don't rub a hole in them and then so I think on mine uh, the carriage bolts go on the inside of them so the shock's kind of in the way, so I'll go from the front here. So it's kind of in there. So as you can see here, uh, that carriage bolt is back behind there. There's a, at least a finger width there, so it's not going to rub. Now you put the U-bolt around the leaf spring pack and slide it into the bracket here. both sides and then you get some washers lock nuts put those on so now we're going to take this bottom bracket some washers and again my lock nuts Feed that through there, like so. Put your washer on there. Put your nut on there. Grab your other one. Loosen it up just a bit. Make sure everything's in the right place. So these brackets. They have notches where the axle leaf spring e bolts go through. So, right. now them down. And then you're supposed to torque them to 16 foot by. Alright, then the U bolts that go around the uh, leaf spring pack, they get torque down to 10 foot pounds. That completes that step. Now, I think we just gotta bolt the bag up to the upper plate and then tighten these down here. So, I'll read the directions so. though. The next step is to raise the axle up so that this upper bracket and this upper bracket are touching. And then this uh, carriage bolt goes through the, each of the hole there, and then we bolt those together.
do a washer and a nylock nut on there. Same thing on the front. And you're supposed to leave those loose right now. Now do the other side. Same process. All right, now that we got both these carriage bolts on there, you're supposed to kind of align it, make sure it's as perpendicular as possible, um, and then torque these lower bolts down to, it says no more than 20 foot-pounds, which um, you're not getting a torque wrench in there, so, you know, do the best you can. All right, now I think we tighten these ones down supposed to uh, basically put the weight back down on the axle and tighten these ones to 31 foot-pounds. I'm going to do the other side lower bolt. We're getting near the end boys and girls. Next step is to install the line. Uh, this kit came with just the plastic line. Um, so the first step is kind of cut it in half. It has two Schrader valves pre-installed so Gonna find the center, hopefully. Maybe. Right. And then cut it in half. I'm gonna use these little cutters. Uh, you wanna make this cut nice and square and not jagged. That. Alright, then you um, put those into that air fitting in the airbag and then route the line. I'm going to have the air fittings come out through this bumper piece of plastic here because on my camper I'll have the air compressor um, in the front underneath the fifth wheel area so it would be easy access to air these up uh, when I hook up to the trailer. The one thing it did say is, uh, you know, that's plastic line, so make sure you route it away from your exhaust. They give you a heat shield. I think, uh, looks like mine, I feel it routed on the outside of the frame where it won't be necessary. Also, give you some zip ties and some uh, hardware to mold that. I just got to drill a couple holes there and then cut those lines to the proper length and we'll be done. We got all the airlines ran and secured with zip ties, so now it's time to uh, test it out. So you just put in your air chuck. Can you hear that? That's a leak. So we'll have to go check that. That's why you want to test it out. Um, so I, I can hear that leak if it, if it wasn't audible, but it was still leaking down. You can use some soapy water and a squirt gun uh, to check for leaks. They say you want to leave five pounds in here minimum, so five to 80 pounds is the range. Um, with the truck, no load in it, you know. Um, you obviously don't need these. Um, pretty much just for towing, especially on a, a three-quarter ton truck. Um, I had a half ton, you guys saw my half ton Silverado. I had the same sort of airbag set up in there and uh, you know if I go to Home Depot you know uh, I put some air in there because you know half ton suspension is pretty soft and so you put much in it it's gonna uh, it's really squatted and with that truck with it being lowered I didn't have much room for squat. <laughs> Alright let's try this again. Yep. It's going up. So, when you're doing this, you might want to use an air gauge, air pressure gauge. But uh, if you like this video and want to see more, uh, like and subscribe. And we'll see you next time on Air Capital Hot Rod Garage.